It's your boy Chris H. Here you're watching UrbanBookstores.com. Now, right now, we're located at 125th Street in Harlem, New York. And we're going to talk to some of these street vendors who are here selling these books. We're going to find out exactly who's buying these books, why they're buying these books, and who's selling the most. It's your boy Chris H. And remember, if you didn't hear from the Urban Bookstores, then name the source. Right now, we're actually trying to find people who read urban literature. Past another street vendor. Room. Boy Chris H. Still on the search on 125th. Trying to find somebody that reads. We got Hickson out here. Hickson. Always ghetto heat. Hickson. Hot we got lucky. Once again, out here with Big Henry. What's going on? You caught me again. What's good, people? Mm. Ghetto heat, working hard. Doing a preview. Hard, hard. Doing a preview before I hit LA. And you know I'm about to have the 50th anniversary, so you know what we're doing, we do. Good Hickson, to see you how's it going, man? Everything's going on. We're on 125th Street. We just ran into Hickson. That's out indeed. here doing this thing here with his vending station. I'm trying to find out, Hickson. <laughs> Who's buying these books today, man? Who's buying these books today? People are buying books. You know, people are buying books because you know it's Memorial Day weekend. They want some great, you know, reads for the holiday. And um, you know, summer reading season. Why is it so hard to get African Americans to read? <laughs> I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, I know a lot of it has to just to do with the sign of the times. I mean, you have BET, you know. <laughs> you have some publications that has pictures. Some people just don't, they're just not interested in reading. Some people are just not interested in or their horizons and expand their reading numbers. So I'm just trying to do what I can to get people interested in reading. In the industry and things like that. Why are these authors going at each other's throat? The what recession is here. <laughs> <laughs> the people are not, not sure who they are. I, I believe so. Explain if that. you're what confident you and you totally understand what you're doing and you're focused and you believe in yourself as well as your product, you don't have to be at each other's throat. I'm at nobody's throat. I'm focused. I'm cool. You know? I mean, we have a plan, right? We have a formula. And it's just basically to work with great intentions and great integrity. There's no need to be doing underhand shadiness, you know, doing things under the table. Just work hard. That's it. That's the formula. Work hard, have great intentions, have great integrity. Believe in yourself. You go for it. It's like people are just chasing the tail, you know? Unfortunately. Yeah, it's unfortunate it's like that, man. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. So. I can't focus on the bad, you know. Like I said, I'm about to um, approach five years in business. There's a lot of people who came out here with me in 2003. I don't see them anymore, unfortunately, you know. So Why is that? Lack they of focus? They haven't focused. They wasn't focused. Financially, they probably wasn't ready. They probably bit off too much and they could chew. You know, that's why I'm slow. Listen, five books. You don't have to do five books per season. You you, you create classics. You do great quality works that's going to actually manifest in the classics. You know, that's why, like I said, I respect people like Terry Woods, even though there's situations behind that. But she wasn't in a rush. One book at a time. Classics. True to the game, like I said, came out what? 90s, what, 6? It still sells like it came out yesterday. Stay here with Urban Bookstores to remember if you didn't hear from the Urban Bookstores, then it ain't the source. We'll be back. Take care.